What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we have another update on the Halloween update that came out yesterday where I was talking about the fact that the rights are being shopped around and then I did a follow-up update in another video I dropped later that same day talking about the fact that One Take News exclusively reported that their sources had told them that one of the top priorities was to get a TV show up and running and that would be set in the same universe as Halloween 3 season of the witch it would be six episodes long now that was reported as a top priority and I think that is possibly what could be on the way because now bloody disgusting has actually updated their report from yesterday to correct some of the statements or correct some bits of the statements that were uh, put into this article from yesterday so from what they understand bloody disgusting can exclusively report that Malika Cod's Trankis International Films is actively shopping the rights to the Halloween franchise around Hollywood. For clarity, while Miramax co-owns the film rights, Trankis is the sole owner of all television rights. From what we understand, there is a massive bidding war going on right now for television rights, with several different parties interested in vying for the chance to bring Michael Myers back to life. We're hearing exclusively that A24 and Miramax are the two main parties currently in battle for TV rights and that A24 is currently leading the charge. As you might recall, A24 recently won the rights to produce a Friday the 13th television series and it, and it's being made by or it's being made for the Universal owned Peacock. It's titled Crystal Lake. Here's the thing. With Miramax already co-owning the film rights, I would like to think that they are going to also then be the ones bringing a TV show to light or life. However, would it be so bad for A24 to have their hands on Halloween? Sure, we haven't seen too much of them dabbling in the slasher genre, but that's assuming that they would even be doing something with Michael Myers. Again, one of the top reported priorities, if this is still the case from One Take News, was that Malika Cod wanted to do a TV show set in the same world as Halloween 3, and it would be six episodes long. So could they possibly be able to do something in that vein? Or even still, who's to say that the show itself would actually even be set on anything to do with Season of the Witch, Silver Shamrock, or Michael Myers himself at all? What if it's something related to another story that has been talked about in the Halloween universe? There's so many different things that get mentioned in that first movie. I think there's a, a mention of a boy who did a crime similar to Myers in that first movie. I'm, tr I'm drawing a blank, but who's to say that the Halloween series itself will be set on Michael Myers 100% or even the Silver Shamrock concept? It could be set on something entirely different. However, obviously... The safe assumption right now is that we're going to see a TV show centered on Michael Myers, Dr. Loomis, somebody within the established lore that we've been seeing predominantly, or could A24 actually start doing a TV show that takes us down the path of what was always intended? Could we get a Halloween anthology TV show in the vein of something similar to Goosebumps with obviously a little bit more maturity to it for those of you who are diehard Goosebumps fans like myself who grew up with that show seeing something in the vein of that an anthology show with a little bit more mature content and a little bit more mature tone to it obviously where each episode focuses on a different story it can be set in the same world where michael myers exists and everything but each episode can focus on a different story maybe that's happening in haddonfield happening near haddonfield happening around haddonfield just in the same entire universe i would love to see something like that if we don't get that another idea for a tv show that i talked about before was this do something that builds up to Michael Myers escaping from Smith's Grove. Don't show it from the perspective, obviously, from the boy who won't even be speaking. Do it from the perspective of Dr. Loomis. Dive deeper into that character. Show us how he got to the point of thinking that this, this man, this boy, is the essence of evil. And that he should not be released because all that lives behind his eyes is purely and simply evil. Rest in peace to Donald Pleasance. Iconic monologue. Obviously, you would need to attain someone who can emulate or not only emulate, but just do something that is a show of respect to what Pleasance did in the role while also doing your own unique spin on it and just keeping the character of Loomis somebody who's highly compelling to follow. Seeing his deep dive and encounters with Michael Myers in Smith's Grove from the age of six all the way up until the age of 21. That could be your first season. Obviously, you can do time skipping around the first season and then in season two 
take it away from that psychological drama that season one can be grounded in and in season two give us a full-fledged slasher show myers escapes smith's grove he goes back to haddonfield you're not going to give us Lori strode or any of her friends it's going to be somebody entirely new it can be a new final boy a new final girl a new final whoever but no Lori. only person that's still relevant are going to be michael myers and dr loomis but still keep the story from the lens in the lens of uh or from the perspective of dr loomis obviously you can see scenes with myers doing his thing seeing him stalking but i would like to see the story carried by the character of loomis that's another successful show route you could take and i think that a24 could do a good job i see a lot of negativity around a24 having the rights to this possibly because they seem to be leading this current bidding war however if we do get the season of the witch show you could also have a successful show set in that universe and have a24 involved in the series that way taking that approach i don't see anything wrong with a24 gaining the rights to this if anything it would draw a lot more attention to a24 a24 has been doing a great job with what they've been doing with some of these psychological horror movies they've been doing a great job with the recent trilogy that we know ty west is responsible for the x trilogy the things i've heard about maxine being a whodunit also seems to be in the vein of a slasher anyway in and of itself so them teetering into more notable ips and diving into stuff like legacy characters with michael myers one of the big three possibly bringing him back in the version of a small screen adaptation i wouldn't be against that i think they could do great work with it everything that not everything most of what i see come out of a24 it's been stellar so in my opinion i think a24 would have been a more appropriate fit obviously for this upcoming blumhouse exorcist movie we're about to get as well that's not to say that they would be the appropriate fit for a michael myers tv show if they do indeed go down that route but again a show in the vein of seeing michael grow up and in Smith's Grove, from the perspective of Dr. Loomis, with the first season being heavily focused on a psychological drama, I could see A24 being the best fit for something like that. Out of the two that we've already heard about, I would love to see that from them. I can't wait to see what they do with the Crystal Lake TV show. Obviously, share the wealth. Not everyone should have all of it, but Paramount has Ghostface. <laughs> uh, A24, they have jason and if they have michael i mean that's fine too and again who's to say that the show we're going to get is going to even be about michael myers but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video